Hello, Americans. Another friend subscribes around the world. Thank you, man. So, uh, today, you know, I've got my big new K brick grill that Gregor got me, and I love it, and I use it all the time. We're in the process now of getting it, because we've changed some things around here, man, in this cluster of an area, and wanting the little dog's area out back. And then I'll put my new K grill over here. But something that I picked up this weekend is this. This is a Lodge portable grill. Look how Grizz. Grizz, go, man. Jeez. He comes and sits right there. As you can see, I got charcoal started in there. I'm getting ready to um, rub it down with some bacon grease. Got beads of water because I just washed it. Um, it was used, but not used much. And there is a couple of handles that come with it. This is. You know, I got I picked this one up for thirty bucks, and they sell for about what hundred bucks, around hundred bucks. But it's a um, you know one of the eighteen ninety six series lodge, lodge portable grill. Man, it'll be a great up uh, camping. And then not only that, just like with my new K, you know, using uh, wood chips and uh, you know cut up apple wood, cut up all that, you know, just cooking over wood. It actually came with uh, some briquettes, so I went ahead and I'm using briquettes now. But as soon as they run out, man, I don't, I don't buy briquettes. So then I'll be using wood. But I thought I'd just show that. So uh, man, maybe I'll show, uh, show when we heat it up, or I'll show everything here. I'll get my, I'll get my dying tripod set up and oh, show you. So cool. All right, man. So I got some bacon grease. What Miss Kitty just handed me some frozen bacon grease. Man, like I said, we never, never get rid of our bacon grease. So I'm just going to rub this down since it's frozen. A little bit here. Ooh. Oh, smell. Hey, it smells like bacon. Uh-oh. I'll aim it up. You know, basically, you just want to coat. I'm going to do the whole, whole outside just... Oh, just lightly, man. Then that will actually protect it, too. Well, I think we're about ready for uh, some uh, pork chops, man. Seems pretty nifty. And then the thing about it that I thought that was really cool... You see this, this holes right here? You can turn, turn this. Get this. That's the one thing, man. I wish I would, had the handles. I'll come up. I was thinking I'll just come up with those deals you use for the stove. But gloves work too. <laughs> for thirty bucks, man. For just missing the handles, I can probably get a, some on eBay. But anyway, you turn this for the dampers. There, now I can show it. Let's see, spin it. That's open. And you can just spin it. Close damper. Half damper, quarter damper, whatever you want, man. I'm just doing full, full bore right now, man. My charcoal's just about ready, and it's got one, two, three, four, four of those around it. That thing is nice. All right, man. So, I believe this thing's all preheated enough, man, because that's the one thing, you know, being cast. Get your noses out of here, dude. But, uh, so I preheated, preheated the, ooh, yeah, it's good. Might have should have put some more bacon on there. Yeah, and let those babies cook for a bit, and sear, and then sear the other side, and Pick them up, man. I think, dude, I just love this thing. And I love my new K, man. Don't get me wrong, dude. I love my new K. But for uh, just quick, me and Miss Kitty, well, you can do that on the new K. I do it all the time. But um, I don't know. Man. This, this is kind of like having a new K I can take with me. So that's pretty cool. Because I definitely ain't going to take the big new K out with me. That thing's heavy. 
I ran, we'll show these when they're we're all waiting in. I'm gonna go rinse this plate and see how these go. One thing that I don't have that I should have is a you got a knife, man? It's a uh, meat tester, man. Something on them head, man. I ain't no uptown like that, like y'all. I test I test them the old way. I think that uh you got that I'll tell you what man, I love this little little drill. Ooh, that one that one can steal a little bit. Dang, these things are like hors d'oeuvre size. I mean, that one done. That one's done. These ones are a little bit fatter on the... Hey, while I'm lighting these, these other two cook for just a little bit longer. I probably should give this one to Miss Kitty. So. You want to put this in the microwave? Yeah. So, anyway, man, as soon as I get this done, then I'll scrub it down with a brush. You know, get the... Just like you would a barbecue. And then uh, after it cools off, so I was telling this kitty I need to, Max, I need to have flies and all kinds of crap uh, landing on it. Actually, I need a box or something to put it in. I'm sure I got something around here. <laughs> so I'll figure that out probably tomorrow because it'll definitely have to cool down. But, dude, this thing is, man, pretty dang nifty, man. That, uh, I'd never even, I seen the thing, I'd never even seen or heard of one until I seen this one. Well, then one he wanted 35 bucks, I gave 30 bucks. So that was a pretty good thing. These bad boys are, uh, bad boys are ready. So we'll go in, man, up to the salad. One with the brush. Yeah, bacon grease help, man, but still, still pretty good. Like I said, man, I don't even know uh, if they use this thing. It didn't look used at all. The only thing that like they opened it, maybe, maybe had used it one time or something and then lost the dang handles, but uh, but this thing was not, uh, there's no grime, and I mean, when I washed it, it was pretty black blue. Uh, portable grill. And you uh, check one of those out, man. <laughs> Good Lord willing. And them creeks don't rise. We'll be back again tomorrow. See ya. Time to eat.